Welcome to this brief guide on how to schedule Mastodon posts with Buffer. If you've ever previously tried to schedule a post for a social media service, you may well have used the website Buffer. And today I'm gonna to show you how Buffer has just added in support for Mastodon. If you'd like to look at this yourself, you can head to www.buffer.com and you'll be able to find out about all of the new features that Buffer has rolled out for Mastodon. This includes being able to plan your posts in advance, as well as managing all of your existing social media, just like you may already do. In order to utilize this service, you will need to create an account, which you can do using the Get Started Now button, or if you already have an account, just simply use the Login button. I personally already have an account, so I've signed in on a different page here, and now in my profile, I'm currently in my publishing page. Here you'll see over on the side, I currently have two channels connected, both my old Twitter account and my LinkedIn profile. I need to add my Mastodon account, which I can do using my profile photo in the corner here and selecting the drop-down menu and selecting the option for channels. Selecting this is gonna give me a pop-up in the middle of my screen to show me the current channels that I have. You'll see that I'm currently on the free plan, which allows me to connect up to three channels for free. There are additional features if you upgrade, but we're not gonna do that in this case. We're just gonna connect our Mastodon account. Selecting connect channel will give you the option to select Mastodon from the available options. And here you'll notice that it's got a lot of the dominant Mastodon instances at the moment. I'm not currently on any of those, so I'll need to select the option at the bottom for other. Selecting this will then rely on me entering in my particular instance, which in this case is c.im. This may be different for you. And once I'm ready, I can hit next. This is gonna jump me over to my Mastodon page where I will then need to authorize Buffer to have access to my account. Selecting authorize will make that happen. And then it's gonna jump me back over to Buffer and make that connection. And here you can see I have my Mastodon account connected. It's now my third channel. All I need to do now is head back over to the publishing page and select the appropriate channel and get it all set up. Heading down to my queues, you'll notice I have my LinkedIn one, which is at the top, which is selected at the moment. I need to select my Mastodon account, which then will give me a default schedule. It's already suggested some times to actually make some posts, but it's said that I'm in London, which I'm not, I'm in Sydney. So I use the settings cog here and I can change this and customize it as needed. So in the time zone, I'm just gonna simply type in Sydney, because that'll give me my local time zone and I can select Sydney, Australia. I can then also choose to select whether or not I want any of the posting times that they've already recommended. I don't want any of these, so I'm actually gonna select the clear all posting times option and I'm gonna say, yes, I'm sure, empty it. And now I have my account ready to go. I now need to start queuing up some posts. So once I head back to the queue, I can choose to either use the option there that says schedule a post or I can use the lovely blue button that says create post. This is gonna initiate a post with my Mastodon account. Using the profile photos in the top, I could select to also cross post this to Twitter or LinkedIn if I wish, but I'm not going to because this is a Mastodon specific post. You'll also notice over here on the right hand side, I have a preview of what my Mastodon post is going to look like, including any photos that I may have chosen to add using the drag and drop or select a file option here. I also have options to add on additions from Canva, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Giphy and Google Photos. I'm gonna add a GIF to this just so you can see what this will look like. And because I've started my post with whoa, I'm definitely gonna choose Bill and Ted because Bill and Ted is awesome. And that first one looks great. So I'm gonna select it. And what'll happen is it's gonna upload that GIF to my post and this GIF will load in correctly inside Mastodon. I know some people have had difficulties with that in the past. And here you can see, in the preview, it's showing that my GIF is gonna play and it's gonna be loaded in there just like I expect. It's worth noting, I also have a 500 character limit here. This is independent of any character limits that my instance has itself. You'll also see that I've currently tagged the Buffer Mastodon account, but if I was to not put in their full username, I'll get a prompt up the top here that says, hey, you should probably use their full server address because this ensures that it tags the appropriate account. This isn't always needed if you're making this post directly inside Mastodon itself. So I'll just put that back in and then I can see over in my preview, because I've used the full at mastodon.world account name, the link will work in my preview as well. 
Once I'm ready to post, I can either click on share now, or if I wish to schedule it, I can use the drop down menu and select the option that says schedule post. This will give me a calendar and a timer that I can use to select when I'd like my post to be posted. In this case, I'm gonna select it for a couple of minutes away from now, and then I'm gonna select the option at the bottom that says schedule. This will begin to schedule my post. Once my post has been scheduled, it'll bring me back to my queue so I can see these posts and I can make any edits if I wish. Now we just wait a few moments and this will be posted as I expected. A few moments later. And it's rocking up on 910 and there we go. My post has been made to Mastodon. So now what we need to do is jump back over to Mastodon to see what that looks like. Here's my profile, just like you'd expect. And as I scroll down below my pinned post, there is my post and it looks exactly how I like. My GIF is loading, perfect. I can even use the link that shows to the buffer account and clicking on this, as you can see, has taken me to the appropriate account because I used the full username for this particular user. And that is how you set up and use buffer to schedule posts on Mastodon. I hope you found this tip extremely useful and it makes your Mastodon experience in the future just that little bit better and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.